From traveling in time and using the Speed Force to save the DC Universe to now using it to reset it, here's how The Flash could potentially be DC's endgame. First of all, let's talk about the flashy trailer. The first similarity between Marvel's Endgame and The Flash is the popularity of their respective trailers. Like, do you remember the days when the trailer for Endgame had just dropped? The internet went into a frenzy because everyone was trying to figure out what would happen to their favorites. Who would come back to life, who would lose their life, and how would they pull this off? Well, these same questions are being asked after the teaser for The Flash dropped on the Super Bowl. But this time, it seems like the entire universe will be wiped instead of having half the universe wiped. I'm talking about the DC Extended Universe, of course. The trailer was probably the best one released by the DCEU in a while. It had everything a DC fan could wish for. Keaton and Affleck back in the cape, the return of the flying Kryptonian, uh, wait, that's the wrong Kryptonian. Sorry guys, I guess there won't be any farewell to Henry Cavill, but, well, he doesn't need one because he'll always be in our hearts. Uh, moving on, it seems like the trailer for The Flash had the same impact as the trailer for Endgame. Now, another key aspect of the Marvel masterpiece was the love it got from the fans. But will The Flash be as successful? I mean, let's be honest, whether you're a fan or not, you gotta admit, Endgame was a masterpiece, and the last good Marvel movie as well. It's honestly disappointing how things went for them after that. Projects like Ant-Man and Doctor Strange were so hyped up, and they were just nothing but a source of disappointment. As if we needed more of that in our lives. So, I guess you can say that, in this case, The Flash might be on a different path. Oh, and if you have Keaton returning as Batman and Affleck returning as Batman, then, well, I think we can say that it will be pretty successful. No doubt about that. So then, will it have the same appeal? Will we get an alternative to the Avengers Endgame scene? Well, that's a bit hard to say. Keaton might raise the roof in cinemas, but I'm afraid it won't be high enough. Plus, DC fans are right now very disappointed with the studio. They're tired of the full reset and recast, and want something good, something loyal to the source material, something like Endgame. And according to Gunn, the film might live up to that expectation. But all this wasn't the main reason why people think that The Flash will be DC's Endgame. I want you to think about it and figure out why. It's pretty obvious, to be fair. Well, it's because The Flash will reset the entire DC universe. Yep, we're in the end game now. So, how will they reset it? That's where our friend Barry Allen comes into the equation. If you're a fan of the books, then, well, you're no stranger to this. The Flashpoint comics are famous for their chaotic storyline, which always ends up with some new timeline. So, yeah, a lot of thought process went into this, and hopefully, it will pay off. It became the ideal way for them to transition into Gunn's universe, and so our favorite storyline became a scapegoat. Imagine pleading with the studio to make a movie on a certain comic. The studio then makes that movie, but they use it to cut off all other films. I guess nothing fits here more than this phrase. Be careful what you wish for. Now, in the comics, instead of Bruce Wayne, we had Thomas Wayne, and he was key to the whole timeline change. I guess we'll have Keaton fill out that crucial role instead of the old Thomas Wayne. And I guess you guys might have an idea of what'll happen to him. If you don't want me to spoil the movie for you, then please cover your ears and close your eyes. In the Flashpoint comic, Thomas Wayne urges Barry to reset the timeline with his dying breaths. And that changes the DC world that we know and love. Except for this DC, the universe isn't all that loved, and we don't know it much either. But I guess it wasn't all terrible. There were some good key moments that we had along the way. And maybe we'll live those moments in the theater again, or at least that's what one fan theory says. There will be a flashback sequence in The Flash. 
So, we all remember the time traveling scene in Endgame, right? Anyways, the time travel logic wasn't great. Most fans were even a bit disappointed by how simple it was. But just going back to get the stones wasn't the main reason. It was to take you guys for a trip down memory lane. We revisited the scenes, the sets, and the characters that lay the foundation of the whole MCU. It was also a perfect way to wrap up the storyline for the main characters. Iron Man got to meet his dad and finally gave that hug to him, which kind of hints at how much he meant to him. Howard might not have understood it, but we sure as hell got it. Steve finally got his dance with Peggy and grew old with her, just like they had always planned to. And Thor got words of support or motivation that he really needed at the time. Heck, even we needed to hear those words. All this really made me realize how far we've come with these characters. And it was something that I don't think was equal to a good time traveling method. So the theory is that we'll get a similar sequence when Barry resets the timeline. It'll be like he'll be running with the speed force and next to him will be all the memories of a past DCEU. Man of Steel, Dawn of Justice, Justice League, all those, and I think that'll be a pretty neat way to end it all up. But then again, it's not really the end. What'll be next for the DC Universe? Well, that's where the wheel passes to our man James Gunn. He'll take over, and his canon vision for the DC Universe will begin. It's sad that he had to reset the entire franchise, especially at a time when things were actually starting to get a bit better. Cavill was back and was set to face The Rock's Black Adam. Suicide Squad was a big hit, and Zack Snyder was finally getting the appreciation that he deserved. Things were good, but nope, they weren't good enough for Gunn. And he reset the whole thing. He's even announced the first chapter of his vision, Gods and Monsters. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds pretty epic. In this, we'll be getting the controversial Superman reboot, a Batman and Robin movie, and a TV series for Amanda Waller. Oh, and Swamp Thing will be making its first live-action appearance. I know a lot of people have been criticizing Gunn, but honestly, I think he's headed in the right direction. The timeline was a mess. No one knew what was connected to what, so I guess the DCEU was desperate for a reboot. And our boy Barry Allen will be the one to fire the gun, because as soon as that movie starts, the franchise will be in its endgame. That's all from me on how The Flash could be DC's endgame.